Good morning, everyone. This is Uma coming to you live on Monday, April 10th with season two, episode 16 of the Lotus Lounge podcast. Yes, I know I sound terrible. <clears throat> I'm sorry, guys. It is spring is coming in in the northeastern part of the U.S. Where I live, there are a bunch of blooming plants and I have seasonal allergies. So I am not sick. I do not have COVID. I just have a really bad case of allergies. So we're going to get through this. Don't worry. I've been saving up all my talk time just for you guys. Big shout out again to my book. For those of you that don't know, I wrote my second book called Chronicles of a Spirit Walker. It is doing really well on Amazon. It placed as an Amazon bestseller in four categories and number one hot new release in five categories. So it is available for sale. You can check it out on Amazon. It's called Chronicles of a Spirit Walker. Check it out on Amazon. And um, yeah, if you ever see me, I'm happy to autograph it for you. I am signed up to do 12 shows this year. I've already done the Pathways show that was in McLean, Virginia. And I'm signed up with Illuminate to do a couple of shows uh, within the Maryland, Virginia, D.C. region, as well as Collingswood, New Jersey. I will be there at the Illuminate Festival, March 6th. And I will also be in Lewis, Delaware on Sunday, March 7th. So if you want to come out, get a reading with me, see me in person, take a photo, get an autographed copy of my book. I will have the books there for sale. My first book, The Awakened Life. And my second Amazon best-selling book, Chronicles of a Spirit Walker. So definitely come on out. I'll be in, like I said, the weekend of May 6th and 7th. I will be in Collinsward, New Jersey and Lewis, Delaware. So come on out, get a photo, get an autograph and get a reading. But enough about that stuff. <clears throat> Let's jump right in to our readings for this week. If you are new to my podcast, welcome in. It is a one-woman show over here, and I just like to pull some cards at the beginning of the week. This is what I do for myself, and I just decided to make that a podcast and do that for you guys too, so you could energetically prepare for what this week brings. So let's start with our affirmation of the day. Close your eyes. Take a nice deep breath in. Exhale. Center yourself, and let's get our collective affirmation of the day. This is the affirmation of the day. Our affirmation today says, I am enough. I release the burden of shame, guilt, self-hatred, and self-judgment. I am enough. So as you go through your day today, remind yourself that if people are telling you you're lacking or you're not doing enough, it could be your job, it could be your family, it could be friends, your significant other. Remind yourself that you are enough and you're doing the best that you can. That is your message today. Take pride in who you are and what you offer. And very soon, the universe will shift in your favor and surround you with people and opportunities that show you you are enough. That is your message of the day I like that we're starting off this week with that energy, I am enough, because the thing is, is I feel personally not enough people give themselves credit. We are all doing so much out here, and to know that spirit is reminding us like, yes, we could be doing more, but in the moment, take, take pride in who you are and what you've done and what you've been through as well. Some of us right now are going through it, right? You're going through it. And the last thing you need to do is judge yourself or have other people judge you because you're going through it. So I love that message was our first message of the um, podcast. It's I am enough. I'm okay where I'm at. Other people can have judgments on me, inventions, lies. But at the end of the day, it's what I say. And if I say I'm enough, then I'm enough. All right. Let's move into our message from the avatar of the week. This is the message from the avatar of the day, and our avatar of the day is Lakshmi. Lakshmi is the Hindu goddess of prosperity who helps us overcome financial fears and tap into the river of abundance that's available to everyone. It's helpful to put a statue or painting of Lakshmi in the financial corner, 
according to feng shui principles this is the left rear corner of your home or office as you stand looking inward from the front door call upon lakshmi to help transition money worries into financial flows so the message of the day from lakshmi is flow of prosperity this card indicates that your prayers about finances have been heard and answered Tap into your manifestation power by focusing on abundance instead of worrying about money. You have nothing to fear. A new flow of prosperity is supporting you and your loved ones. So the message is stop worrying about money. Worry only attract more money problems. Everything's going to be okay, especially with respect to finances. You have the support to make a desired life change right now. Visualize and affirm prosperity. So I don't know what you're going through. If you're getting this message, the message is very clear. Don't worry too much about your financial situation. That will change soon. All you need to do is focus on being well, being in a high vibrational state so you can receive the prosperity that is meant to come to you. All right. That is the message from the goddess Lakshmi for today. Yes, we all need a little bit of prosperity. I don't think there's, I would ever meet somebody who says, no, Uma, I'm making enough money. I don't need any of your help or any help manifesting, whatever else, whatever else. You know what I mean? All right, let's jump into our blog of the day. And the blog of the day is, why doesn't the law of attraction work for me? This is a good one. This is a really good one. All right. Why doesn't the law of attraction work for me? So let's get into it. It's not that enlightenment isn't for everyone. The law of attraction works, but yet people tell me frequently it doesn't. The thing is, you have to be ready to receive it. Have you ever had a dream where you were somewhere and you were unprepared? Maybe a dream of being in class and naked. <laughs> or being at work and unprepared for a meeting? Do you remember that feeling of dread and shame you felt? Why? Because you knew, even in a dream state, that you were not supposed to be there. You needed to be clothed or prepared before you got there. It's the same thing with the law of attraction. The enlightenment we seek to have happy and peaceful lives come with real power. And if you're not ready to receive it, you can actually turn away your own manifestations. How can we not be ready to receive that power? If we have fear, anxiety, doubt, dread, or other lower emotions, we will not be able to handle that power. It's physics. The thing we are calling in and manifesting is of a higher power. And if we are in a low energy, we can manipulate the energy to bring us what we want, but it won't be enjoyable because we will not be at the level we need to be to receive it. I witnessed this myself with a particular friend. I taught her everything I knew about this power in a sincere effort to help her out of her self-sabotaging ways, but it didn't work. Well, it did for a little while and she was soaring high. She manifested new love that looked stable and a new job that looked promising and a move that she dreamed of that looked full of potential. She thought she created her fantasy world and we were rejoicing, but as quickly as she manifested it, it was as quickly as her dream turned to a nightmare. The new love turned out to be insecure, possessive, and highly jealous. Her new job started to change on what they offered her to a lesser offer than what she desired. Her own family wished her ill intent for relocating. I watched her hide from the harsh realities of her new world that she was denying, but everyone around her could see. She thought she could pretend to be happy and it would all pick back up, but instead things got worse and dangerous. What happened to her scared me. It scared me because I started wondering if I really had the power or an image of it like she did. So I pondered this thought and went into my own meditation asking for clarity on this issue. Was I faking it too? In this moment, I'm happy and peaceful, enjoying my life. But am I lying to myself as well? Thankfully, I received the clarity and results within a few hours to remind me that I do indeed work with this limitless power. And it wasn't based on favoritism, just actions. Actions that I share with my clients in my one-on-one -on -one coaching programs. Actions that I was ready to take and commit to so I could have this wonderful and happy life. 
It was here that I understood the distinction of why law of attraction works for some people and for some people it doesn't. It is manifestation versus manipulation. See, my friend is pretentious and she wasn't really learning the law of attraction from me for the betterment of herself and her world. She was learning it to get things. I see now that if a person has that intention, it will not work. The main driving force behind the law of attraction is a sincere desire to be a better person by being in better alignment to yourself. It is here in this place of complete alignment with your inner being that you can begin to use the power to unravel the mysteries of the universe and your heart. This week, your homework is simple. Look at the things you desire and see where you are with it. Are you moving towards your goals or are you stagnant? If you find yourself stagnant, do you know why you aren't moving in that direction? Remember, you can always book me for an energetic clearings call to help you get back on track with your manifesting goals if you need the help. Otherwise, just stay focused and keep grinding. The law of attraction is always working, so let it bring positive results to you. Until next time, have a namaste. So my blog this week is really because I'm seeing a lot of people not staying focused on their goals. And the thing is, is that by doing that, you are now allowing other things to creep in, things that you don't want, right? So all those bad fortunes, ill intent, stuff like that, bad people around you, that can definitely come into your experience if you're not focusing on the things that you truly want. So I hope this week you guys are listening to me and you're able to really put this into action because I'm telling you guys, I'm moving ahead on my dreams, my goals, and it's lonely at the top. I don't want to be there by myself. I want to be there with you guys. All right. All right. Let's get ready to end out our podcast today with our reading of the week. We got two cards for the weekend. Ooh. So I'm going to just go ahead and set this up here, guys. Give me a second. And it is terrible trying to do this with, <laughs> trying to do this with a cold. Well, not a cold. Allergies, if I might say so. This is the reading for the week of Monday, April 10th to Sunday, April 16th. But remember, guys, if you're hearing this on a recording and it's not in this time frame, that is fine. Time and space does not exist. So whenever you're hearing this message, Spirit wanted you to hear it. So don't worry too much about the timing and just receive the message. So the way I do my weekly readings is I pull one card for the beginning of the week with clarifying cards, one card for the middle of the week, and one card for the weekend. So I've already pulled my cards that are for the week, and I'm now going to go ahead and pull my clarifying cards. It was a big week this week. I'll tell you that. <laughs> Just seeing these cards pop out. I'm like, wow, lots of big changes. Wow. Okay. So <clears throat> the beginning of the week, Monday and Tuesday, we have seven of fire. This is conflict. This is usually conflict with other people. Um, but it can also be conflict within yourself, like your heart and your mind want to do different things. The idea with the Seven of Fire card is to be strong about your convictions, your opinions about what you know. Stand your ground. Don't try to get into battles with other people, but stand your ground about who you are, what you know. Be firm. We have Five of Pentacles and the Chariot clarifying it. So, there is deception around you. It doesn't have to be like affecting you. 
It could just be deception in terms of you lying to yourself about a situation. Or it could be um, you have somebody in your life, a, a person that you're close to that is unraveling and you've been probably afraid to say something. All right. The message of Monday, Tuesday is to just say it. Be honest. Be honest with yourself. If you're feeling, you know, certain things about a situation, be honest with the people in your life. If they're spiraling or going through something, just be honest because your honesty is what could save the day. The five of pentacles is a card of feeling left out in the cold. So this is either you or somebody close to you is feeling like left out. But the chariot indicates a time of positive movement forward. And all of this is banking on you being true to you. So Monday, Tuesday, you're being called to be honest, not brutally honest. Don't be like a Sagittarius or Capricorn with it. You know, just be honest with people in your life, with yourself and be easy and kind and calm as you're being honest, because whatever revelations come up Monday, Tuesday are revelations that are meant to take you further. All right. That is the message for Monday and Tuesday. Now, for Wednesday, Thursday, the middle of the week, we have the chariot card, which is a card of fast movement, travel, public recognition, being recognized. And it is clarified by the fool and the hierophant. Big things are happening Wednesday, Thursday. You're going to be seen. You're going to be seen. The energy is here. For um, a lot of you are beginning new chapters. Remember, this is a general reading. Take what fits toss the rest. But I feel like a lot of you are starting a new chapter on Wednesday, Thursday. You're leaving behind this fight, whatever this fight was with yourself or with other people. And you're getting on the straight and narrow because look, we got the chariot here and we got the chariot again. So this week is a time of positive movement forward for a lot of us. And it's about tapping into your spirituality, your spiritual center, beginning this new beginning that is going to lead you to success. So for some of you, you're making travel plans, you're traveling. For some of you, you're really reinvesting yourself back into your work, into your career, your professional life. For some of you, it could be love related, right? You're moving in a new direction concerning love. It, you know, maybe you're, you're hooking up with your twin flame or your soulmate. Maybe you're like making them an integral part of your life. But at the end of the day, whatever it is that's happening on Wednesday, Thursday, it's in alignment with your path, your purpose. All right. So stay true to your calling and follow through. And finally, for the weekend, we had two jumper cards. We had the nine of earth and seven of water for the weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, clarified by the judgment and the prince of cups. This is decisions about your most of you. It's your love life. There's going to be some heavy decisions being made over the weekend. I feel a couple of you have been wronged karmically. So it might be a person in your life has wronged you, or it might be the world has wronged you and your love relationship, but you're going to see some positive turnarounds this weekend, all right, in your love life. Um, for those of you that are in a relationship, your partner is going to bring an offer to you, a feel-good offer, a, an offer that makes you happy. So maybe you guys have been fighting or not on the same page, but we can see you guys getting back into alignment over the weekend. If you're not in a relationship and you're single, you could be attracting to you a soulmate twin flame energy, somebody that is in alignment with you. Whichever way it goes, I see everybody happy this weekend. Well, it's for the collective consciousness, whoever's listening to this. Good news coming in. It's about you making decisions too about your life, your personal life, and going in that direction as well. So there's a lot of really good healing energy here uh, for the weekend. All right. That is your reading for the week of April 10th or whenever you hear it. I want to thank you guys so much for struggling through with me today. Um, I know it's been hard because of my, um, you know, my voice and everything, but I'm glad we did it. We are here. We made it through. And um, I just want to remind everybody that I am still working. I do private psychic readings. So if you want a reading, you can contact me through my social media or through my website to request a reading. I do 15 minute or 30 minute phone readings. You could come into my center that's located in Manassas, Virginia, the Lotus and the Light Metaphysical Center. You can find out more about my work, www.thelotusandthelight.com. Check me out. You can come in for a service like Reiki, access bars, integrated energy therapy, past life regression, hypnosis, 
reflexology, you know, um, or you can work with me one-on-one -on -one in mentoring. I've been doing a lot more of that where I work with one person solely for a month, three months, or six months. Most of the people signing up with me now are signing up for six months. So I have like two spots left for six month clients. Um, but this is a way to really transform your life where you work one on one with somebody who clearly has done it right. Like I've definitely gotten success in all areas of my life. And it's nothing more than just really focusing and learning to have the right thoughts and what to focus on and what to ignore. So that's what I do with my coaching programs is I teach people how to do mindset reset work and also energy healing work to take care of themselves as this life is lifing. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Um, I do have some events coming up this week. Check my calendar on the lotusandthelight.com and RSVP sign up and come on out. All right, guys, have a beautiful and blessed day and blessed week. Uma is out.